Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Miss Ebony V. Welcome back or to my channel. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. I like to bring you hair and makeup related videos at least every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if that's something you're interested in, please do consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload a video. All right, so today's video is gonna be a review on an outro unit. It is from the Perfect Hairline collection. And with this collection, you get a 13 by six frontal lace parting area. It claims to have no plucking required and it is heat safe up to 400 degrees. It also comes with an adjustable elastic band as well as baby hairs. All right, so today I'm gonna to be reviewing Shanice in this line and I have her in the color 2T 27. This is what the stock car looks like. So this is actually the first unit I'm reviewing in this collection. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. So I finished styling Miss Shanice here and I actually love y'all know I'm a fan of the yakky texture like this is life right here like this yakky texture is everything so thank you Altra. I do feel like I had to put in a little elbow work with this one um it does claim to have a perfect hairline although I don't think the hairline was that perfect <laughs> and I actually went in and plucked it some more and it's still not that perfect. So, yeah, I'm a little iffy on that. I don't get the perfect hairline on this one quite yet. Especially with experiencing some of the, you know, the other units that actually have a perfect hairline. Like the Bobby Boss um, HD Glueless Collection. Um, even the What Lace Collection. Those are like perfect hairlines. Even the Outre Melted Hairline Collection actually have a perfect hairline. This one, I don't know. Mm -mm. I'm not, I'm not sold. But this is the first unit I'm reviewing from this collection. So, you know, I do have another that I'll review at a later time. So I'll see. Maybe it's just this unit. I don't know. I feel like this is a very pretty color. However, I would have preferred a darker root, I think. I think a darker root would have really set this off. Um, Like this same color up here. Mm, it's just okay. For me it's just okay and then it makes it a little harder to blend the baby hairs this parting space was like almost invisible 
and I don't know if it's because of the hair color or the actual lace. Now this lace I thought came a little on the brown side, which is fine because I am a brown girl. But for the lighter girls, it might be a little struggle. This The lace was really brown. And I think that's why it is so hard to see the parting space. So I did have to go in with some foundation powder for the parting space, of course. Now I could have, but did not, go in and um thin out the hair a little bit because it was a little big for me um i feel like the hair is really big but in a sense i kind of like it like that to be honest so that's why i was like let me just leave it as is because i kind of like the fullness i really do i love a good yakky full unit it's just it's like the the nisha unit like the um 203 and the maybe not as full as nisha og but and you know, it's it's just as full as the Nisha 203 that I, I that's like my favorite one of the Nisha line. So I love it. Now the cap size I think is the care friendly. She did come down ear to ear, and I feel like I had just a little bit too much cap. Um, and of course I always say my head is small to medium, measuring at 21 and a half inches. It was just like a little too much cap. Yeah, definitely I definitely have some room. So I would say she's big hair friendly. As far as shedding and tangling. Um, I think this color is making her shed a little bit. Could be me also with the plucking that I did. But she is shedding a little. Not a ton, but I'm definitely seeing some strands of this hair color over my black, you know, on my black shirt. Um, she did tangle at first until, you know, I kind of went through and brushed her out and hot combed her out. And now she's good to go. However, she is synthetic, so yeah, it's not going to stop. It's going to keep tangling. <laughs> I'm already certain of that. Now this is one of them units that you can style in a multitude of ways and I only did this one style just you know so you can see get the full effect of the actual hair but I am going to put some more styles in here and show you at the end um, just so you can see what else this unit is capable of doing because I think it's very versatile and that's always a plus. This unit so reminds me of the Joe Deere unit I reviewed I don't know maybe a month ago it was like that um, red unit that got like rave reviews I think um it was from Amazon and this reminds me a lot of that unit it's like the same texture it has the same parting space you know the versatility you can wear it in all these different styles just like it the only difference the Joe Deere one is a little more budget friendly to be honest I think that one was only $39.99 this one came from wigtypes.com for $49.94 and I think that's for the natural color. It may be an additional like two to four dollars for this specialty color or any other specialty color. This is a lot of hair. So if you're not a fan of a lot of hair on your head and on your body, you know, just kind of taking over, might not be the wig for you. It is a lot of hair. But, you know, chick like me, <laughs> I love a lot of hair. <laughs> so I'm good with it. She's so pretty though. Look at her. Mm. I love this. This is right up my alley, honey. So y'all let me know what you think about Miss Shanice down in the comments below. All right, guys. Well, that's really all that I have for this video. I thank you all so much for watching. As usual, I hope you found it helpful. Please be sure to thumbs up this video. Hit that subscribe button. And go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you have not at Miss Ebony V. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Stay tuned for more styling. Bye, y'all.